Hello, good evening, everyone. Hello, very good evening to all of you. Can I have some quick comments, please, if you can hear my voice? Hi, everyone. Good evening, everyone. Hello, good evening everyone. I hope you can hear my voice. Am I audible everyone? Okay, so our today talk, today's topic so topic for today is just inflorescence. So this is a special class, a detailed uh, discussion on inflorescence. So I hope you can join fast. I'm waiting for all of you to join fast. So we can have a discussion, a good discussion of inflorescence. So this is very important point. This is very important point. For neat point of view. So let me introduce all of you. This is a team, a complete team uh, uh, for Spark Academy. Complete team of Spark Academy. So on daily basis, we all are conducting a different, different, I mean, of the different lectures, I mean, different classes on daily basis. So the session also includes some doubt clarification session also. And it includes free study material, tips and tricks and PYQs. So if you are still worried that you can not do, I mean, you, is still, you are still worried about your NEET exam, then we are here to help you out. So admissions are open right now for classroom, classroom as well as online teaching. So um, exam date of NEET, it is uh, already been uh, announced. So short term and regular courses are already been going on uh, since long, but now you can opt for crash course if you are still worried. So we'll complete syllabus and crash course also. So you don't need to worry for that. You need to just download the app that is Spark Academy app. Download our app that is Spark Academy. You just need to focus on this logo. So this logo, just go into a check your phone, go uh, get inside the Play Store and download the app that is Spark Academy app, and then you will be having a idea of which all courses we are all. Uh, I mean, those are available right now. Courses which are which are available right now. So you can opt for any courses and and for this course. If you want to apply, if you want to enroll, if you want admission, so you can just apply this coupon code. Apply this coupon code that is VAI, stands for Vaishali, 1010. So after that, you will get 10% discount. Yes, good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, good evening. So you'll get 10% discount after that. This is our complete schedule. You can have a screenshot of it. Complete schedule. Schedule of Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday schedule for online or YouTube, free YouTube classes. So just or else you what you can do uh, from YouTube, uh, you just subscribe to our channel that is Spark Academy and press the bell icon so you will not miss out any of the updates which all le lectures will be going on that you will not miss out any of them. 
Yes, Sheikh. Can you hear my voice clearly? Am I audible? Am I visible clearly? Screen should be visible clearly also. So today we will, what is, what will be our session plan and weightage of this chart, this point C. If we consider this as a separate weightage as it is included in morphology part. So that's why I have not included proper weightage of it. So morphology, morphology of flowering plants. So we have already discussed a uh, detailed one shot program, one shot lecture of this morphology of flowering plants. So from that, this is one of the topic that is inflorescence. That is inflorescence. Okay, so see most of the time this is very important topic and that's why I have kept it aside and I'm taking a separate special session for the discussion of inflorescence. Why it is important as important as neat point of view also. For example, from the morphology, normally three to four questions are asked from morphology. Three to four questions. So which will give you around 12 marks. So from these 12 marks, from three to four questions, if two questions are asked from inflorescence, at each and every most of the time, uh, one question you can expect from inflorescence. So according to that, so from these four, one or two question you can expect from inflorescence, which will give you around four to eight marks. I hope you are getting this point. So that's why this point of view, it is very important. That's why it is very important. Okay, so what will be our session plan? So let me change the color for that. Wait a second. So today our session plan, plan that we will discuss about flower. Then inflorescence. What is actually inflorescence? And which are two, there are two main uh, types of inflorescence that is racemose and cymose. So in that we will discuss different types of racemose as well. Different types of racemose. And that includes resume, spike, uh, spikelet, all these different types of racemos and different types of cymos also. The third point we'll discuss that is special type of inflorescence. Special type of inflorescence. Okay. So this thing, it is not there in NCRT. It is not there in NCRT. Okay. So you need to focus on this point because it is not there in NCRT and though it is very important point. Okay, though it is very important point, NCRT uske baare mein kuch nahi bol rahi hai. So, we will be discussing during this lecture. So, for that, I want you to join. I want you to join quickly so that we can start the session. So, that we can start the session. Okay, all of you, you there, shake.
and those who have joined you there okay so let's move further so now it's about inflorescence so what is actually flower flower it is flower is modified shoot flower is what modified shoot so what is inflorescence arrangement of flower on a floral axis is called inflorescence see right now you need to focus on two main terms that is that is confusing term one is pedicel and another is peduncle so two similar looking terms they are different how they are different for example for example this is tree or a plant okay in this branch there will be over this there will be flowers are arranged these are flowers so this particular part of flower it is known as pedicel and the main axis where it is arranged that is called peduncle i hope it is clear so main floral axis where all the flowers have been arranged that is called peduncle so i am writing here it is main floral axis okay where all the flowers are arranged and this is see this is common property you can consider like that this is common proper property and this is private property so this is individual axis i hope you are understanding my point see in a society we, we should have some common property we uh, normally we have a common property common playing ground common passage so common property one is common for all the flowers and one is individually it's a private property a uh, balcony uh, each balcony of each room which is private property so pedicel is private for each room you can say it like this for each flower pedicel is private for them and peduncle it is common over which all the pedicels are arranged with all the flowers i hope you are getting this point am i clear everyone what is peduncle and what is pedicel so now what is flower if it is as is it modified root tip branches leaves or what it is modified shoot so several modification takes place in the shoot to give a rise to the inflorescence so inflorescence is nothing but arrangement of flowers on a floral axis so these are uh, these are follows shoot apical meristem changes to the floral meristem see when a shoot is changed when there is modification occurs what type of modification occurs that we are discussing right now so modification that means see modification that means it changes the floral meristem shoot apical meristem it is changes whatever is at the tip at the tip there is one meristem present that is called apical meristem and this apical meristem is changed to floral meristem and internodes do not elongate here internodes do not do not elongate and axis get condensed the apex produces different kinds of floral appendages at nodes in the place of leaves so when shoot tip is modified into flower the flower is always solitary we will discuss what is solitary flower see whenever shoot tip whenever any flower it is at tip region that means this is changed into flower 
then this flower is always solitary flower. Is that clear about inflorescence, guys? So now it's about types of inflorescence. So based on this arrangement on the floral axis, inflorescence is divided into two main types, racemos and cymos. So racemos, that means here main axis is continued to division. I mean, it is continuation for the growth. You can see here main axis is continue for its growth. So it is like this. For example, this is main axis. So it will keep on growing. Okay, it will keep on growing. The flower are born literally in acropetal succession. That means, that means first born flowers are here. These are starting flowers. That means one, one. And then tip will continue for the growth continuing uh, tip, tip will come keep on continuing growing then later uh, uh, later or new flowers are born here this is second second flower again tip will grow third third like this so older flower will remain at the base older flower will remain at the base and new will be growing at the tip region so new flower will grow at the tip region, older flower will remain at the base, new will be going, growing near the apex that is known as acropetal succession. So that means in short, new at the top. New flower at the top. Okay, everyone. <clears throat> so, example of racemos inflorescence is radish mustard, uh, uh, amaranthus. So, all these are example of racemos. We will be discussing different types of racemos inflorescence. So, these are different types of racemos. First, resume. So peduncle is unbranched here. Which is peduncle? This one is peduncle. This red line which I am drawing. That is actually main axis which we call as peduncle. So can you see any branching of peduncle? No. So what is that mean? It is unbranched. And it bears pedicellated flowers. I hope now it is clear. So I am drawing it with some other color. Wait. So these are pedicel. This green color, color these are pedicel. So which pedicellated flowers are born here. In acropetal succession. In which succession? Acropetal succession. That means new at the top. New flower at at the top so but the lower flowers have long pedicels than the upper ones so that all flower see this this happens in corin here pedicellated this is resume is a normal racemos what you can think about a normal racemos it is resume so this is resume wait Resume, so pedicellated flower in acropetal succession, simple. Then corymb, unbranched peduncle, here also. And have pedicellated flower in acropetal fashion, same. But the lower flowers have long pedicels. Can you see this lower flower and long pedicel of it? This is a long pedicel as compared to this one. So this is, I mean, all they all are trying to reach at the same level. They want to reach the same level. This is called corium. This is called corium. See, resume also has one type. That is 
known as panicle. It is also known as compound racemi. I'm drawing it here. Compound racemi. That means this is peduncle. This is peduncle main axis. I'm drawing it. I'm making it dark. Main axis peduncle. Here, this is how it is branched. So, in case of peduncle, it is branched. Peduncle is branched. And now, pedicellated flower bond here. Pedicellated flower, they are bond here. So, this is called like this here again. So, it is acropetal fashion only, but it is somewhat like compound racemi. Compound racemi, it is also known as panicle. Okay, everyone, I hope it's clear. Racemi and compound racemi. Now, corim. So, corim can be also compound. So, it, is, it can be also compound. That means all are trying to see. Compound, that means it is having branch. Compound, that means it will be having branch. So, I am drawing here. Main petition. Peduncle is branch here. So, it is divided into three. This is also type of peduncle only. Here, these corium will bond. So, this is older flower, newer flower, and more new flower like this. So, this type of 3-3 three, three cluster or 4-4 four, four cluster. So, these is called compound corium. Okay, now corimbos. So corimbos, that means these all are trying to reach the same level, but they can't reach the same level. So they have older flowers and long pedicel, but they can't reach to the same level. Okay, so though they are having longer pedicels, but lower flowers do not bring them to the level of the upper ones. So this is called corimbos. That means they are trying to reach that point, but they can't reach that same level. This is called corimbos racemi. Why it is racemos? Racemi, that means one thing is common here. All the flowers are arranged in acropetal fashion. Older remain at the base and younger will grow at the, younger will be growing at the tip region. Is that clear? Now next types of racemos only. So fourth type of racemos that is umbel. So main is axis is short. Main axis is short and all the flowers appear to be arising from the same point. If they are arising from the same point, mark this point, this is called umbel. Okay, at the base of the flower. So, cluster of bracts form the involucre. Always remember this is, can you see this? What is bract? What is called a bract? Bract, that means reduced leaves. Reduced leaves. Present. below the flower. If these bracts bracts together bracts together form one cluster 
and this cluster is known as involucre. I hope what is involucre it is clear. So here what happens umbel in that all pedicellated flower uh, starting or arising from the one single point same point at the base of the flower uh, at the same point on the floral axis and at the base of the flower there is bracts forming the involucre. The name of family umbelliferi is based on the umbel uh, inflorescence. So this umbel can be of simple type as I have shown in the uh, diagram in the picture. So simple umbel and it can be also compound umbel. It can be also compound umbel. Then I am showing how it will be. See this is what an umbel is here in volucre is there and here from the single point all of them are arising okay same way like this from here also if the single point all the branches will be there like this so this is here also single point, here also single point, single point. So this is called compound umbel. Then next it is spike. Next is spike. So, acropetal arrangement of the sessile flowers. Here, flowers are sessile. Main important point of spike it is sessile flowers, that means non pedicellated. That means sessile, uh, actually, term, uh, meaning of the term it is they can't move. They can't move. If they have that petition, they can flutter, they can move. But they do not have this petition. That's why they are called sessile. They do not have any movement. Sessile flower on the pedicle is seen in the spikes. So can you see here? These are flowers without any dandy. Without any dandy. That means no petition. Without petition. Okay. Next it is, next it is catkin. So it is padding, uh, here, pedicular spike, so which bear unisexual and sessile flowers. Unisexual and sessile flowers. <clears throat> then one more example here, it is Pedix. So Pedix in Pedix, what happens? There is spit as there. So sessile uh, uh, unisexual flowers arranged in the acropetal fashion by modified bract, which is called spit. So one more example of racemos, it is pedix, where there is involvement of spit is there. That means it is modified bract which is forming spit, which is known as pedix. Oh, one slide is missing. Then we have another example that is called. We have another example. Wait a second. I'm writing it here.
So yes, one more example we have that is head inflorescence. Last example of racemos only. Racemos only, which is head, which is also known as head. or capitidum. So in capitulum or head, what happens in a capitulum? So they have, uh, so it's an inflorescence in capitulum and head. It is, it's also a inflorescence where it is just like, a, 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 I mean, here over one pedicle like this. All the flowers, all the flowers are arranged here and they are forming one head-like structure. See, it's simply like sunflower. What happens in a sunflower? Sunflower is not a single flower. Sunflower is not a single flower. So unisexual and bisexual sessile flower develops a centri petally and condensed peduncle as in a member of Asteraceae like sunflowers. So these are unisexual and bisexual sessile flowers. See, see in this in sunflower these are called ray flowers or ray florets. Ray florets. And see, these are also the center one brown color. They are also simple different type of flowers. They are unisexual and outer side this ray florets, they are bisexual. So both the flowers, they are sessile. Both of them are, they are sessile. That means they do not have pedicel. So sessile. And both the type of flowers, unisexual as well as bisexual. So they form such arrangement like in case of sunflower and tridex. This is known as head inflorescence. That is called head inflorescence. Now next, it is about cymose inflorescence. So in cymose inflorescence, the excess terminates in the flower and hence it is, uh, it is having limited growth. What happens in cymose? See, this is main axis. It is terminating as a flower. So that means it will, tip will not grow further. And now this is the oldest flower. The oldest flower. And now all other flowers will go on below it. That means new flower born here at the base region which is called basi petal order. That's why it is known as basi petal succession. So basic petal order which means older flower at the apex and younger flower near the base. That is in case of cymose inflorescence. So cymose is basic petal and racemose is acropetal succession. So here in case of cymose, if tip is, tip is converted into tip is converted into floral bud or flower then it will result to give single flower. Single flower, peduncle is unbranched like this only. Peduncle is unbranched and it bears single flower. This is, you can see here, single solitary flower. So this is called solitary sign. 
in case of hibiscus it is solitary in the hibiscus and the thura it is single solitary sign so this is one type which is called solitary sign okay next if three flowers in a cymos just like this you can see three flowers the same position it's a normal sign cymos type like here one is here two three so this is this is simple samule this is called samule three flowers in a cymos that is called samule now if peduncle is branch now see like here here peduncle is not branch this is pedicellated flower only these are pedicellated flower only but if peduncle is branch then depending on the branch if only one branching is there only two branch uh, i mean two branches are there and many branches are there according to them there are three types of there are three types of uh, cymos in fluorescence monocacial dicacial and polycacial mono di and poly you getting this point monocacial dicacial and polycacial depending on the number of the branches if single branching then monocacial two two branching then dicacial more than two branches then polycacial monocacial sign polycacial sign and dicacial sign so look here monocacial is again divided into two scorpioid and helicoid see like here for example this is first flower then this uh, peduncle is divided into one and again it will form second flower 1 2 again divided into one more branch 3 4 like this it will keep on continuing in the same direction same direction then this is called helicoid type of monocacial sign helicoid type of monocacial sign is that clear now second it is scorpioid type of where it is in both the direction this is first flower second flower third flower sorry this is first flower this is second then third then fourth fifth sixth seventh like this it will keep on growing like this in both the direction one after another in alternate direction that is called scorpioid monocacial sign scorpioid monocacial sign like this it is growing 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then in case of dicacial you can see here this is first flower first flower it is this peduncle is branch into two so these are two second flowers again this peduncle is branch into again two this will give a rise to three third position of the flower so this is two 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 branching of the peduncle occurs that means two branching that means bicacial or dicacial sign so bougainville is example of this type of dicacial sign and uh, callotropis it is of polycacial size and frisia it is monocacial sign so look here in case of polycacial this is first flower then peduncle is branch into more than two again this will grow okay and here again peduncle will be branch into more than two so this will give you polycacial sign I hope this much is clear. So this is about racemos and cymos. Now, most, most, most important point that is special type of inflorescence. In that, first it is cyanthium. Cyanthium. Example of this is Euphorbiaceae family or Euphorbia. 
So what happens here? Branch form the involucre. See involucre that means a cluster of branch. But here this involucre, it is forming a cup-like arrangement. Let me show you. So this is what an involucre is. So this is a bract which is forming this cup type involucre in which inside this involucre, inside this cup, unisexual flowers, they are born. Can you see here one one stamen? I'm drawing it with some another color. This is stamen. Stamen. So these stamens, single stamen represents a single male flower. So single male flower is represented by single stamen here. So male flowers, they are represented by single uh, stamen. And female flower, there is only one female flower which is having one, two and three. Three carpels. Okay. So it is tricarpillary female flower. Only single flower but tricarpillary. So male flower and female flower like this, they are growing inside an involucre. This type of inflorescence, special type of inflorescence, it is known as cyanthium inflorescence. Is that clear everyone? Now in case of verticellister. So in verticellister, member of lemiaceae uh, shows this type of uh, verticellister inflorescence. So members of these, what happens in this case? Inflorescence starts with starts with dicasial dicasial sign. That means starting it is see this is first flower. It will be divided into two peduncle. See this is first, then two. Then now it will keep on continuing. Eventually it turns to the monocasial. Now it will start developing like this. Third and fourth and fifth like this. Maybe helicoid, maybe scorpioid. Any type of monocasial. So this till here it is dicasial. Then eventually it is turning to the monocasial. So dicasial starts with dicasial, then eventually it becomes monocasial. Monocasial sign. So this is a also a type of cymose racemose, which forms a false roll around the node. It forms, because of this, it will form a false roll around the node. See, which four rows do a flower have? Petals, sepals, I mean starting from sepals, that is calyx, corolla and rosium, gynosium. But because of this type of different type of arrangement, they form a false roll around the node region, like in case of leucus. So this is forming a false roll. So this type of inflorescence is called verticellular inflorescence. I hope you are getting it. Then third and special and last type of special type of inflorescence it is hypanthorium. Hypanthorium inflorescence. So example of this main example of hypanthorium is in case of ficus. So it's a, a family of the fig, fig family, fig tree. 
shows this type of hypanthorium in fluorescence. So what happens in this case? Peduncle, peduncle is modified into deep cup. See, this is not breath modification. Peduncle is modified, not breath. Not breath, but peduncle. Peduncle is modified. Peduncle is modified to form a cup. And inside this cup, flowers are born. See, flowers are born. So, peduncle is modified into a deep cup, like a fleshy structure, deep and fleshy cup. Deep and fleshy cup. So, from in which many sessile flowers born. So, many sessile flowers born. See, flower which are, I mean flower which are at the opening of the cup. So, near the opening. For example, this is a cup. So, this is the opening. So, near the opening. Flower near the opening. They are male flowers. Born near the opening, they are male flowers. Then, female flowers at the bottom line. At the bottom, female. And in between, there are sterile female flowers called gall flowers are born. So these are male. Then male flowers then at the bottom the bottom part which is burning at the uh, born at the bottom this is female and in between whatever flowers are in between these are called gall flowers they are called gall flowers they are sterile female flowers which are called gall flowers So pollination in these type of plants takes place by insects which lay eggs in gall flower. They lay eggs here and pollination takes place by an insect called blastophaga. And after fertilization only whole inflorescence become a fig fruit. Complete inflorescence become a fig fruit. So this is called hypanthorium type of inflorescence. So fig anjir jisko bolte hain, that is actually which type of inflorescence? Hypanthorium. A complete inflorescence, it is forming a complete one fruit, fig fruit. I hope this much is clear about inflorescence. Any doubt if you have, you can ask me. Let me remind you all of you that you can download our app for the great discounts and uh, on our courses. This is our app, Spark Academy app. So after that, after joining, enrolling, getting admissions, you will get free handwritten notes, free study materials, PYQs, free mock tests. So link is given in the description box. You can purchase, you can buy any of the course long term if you are giving exam on uh, next year. If you are giving this year only this July, then you can opt for, you can uh, take admission for crash course. So you can buy any of these things 
which is given in the description box. So this is how you can find in your description box courses available, complete study material also there, full length test is also there. So you can buy any of the uh, any of these things. Admissions are open right now. Join now. If you are still worried, we are here to help you out. So short term coaching, regular coaching is already going on and crash course will be coming soon. Soon, I mean, we have started a batch recently. We, are we will be starting a batch in short time. We have started a new batch of crash course recently from Monday and from from, uh, I mean, in few days, we'll be starting a next crash course batch. So you can join in our crash course also. We have two branches, Narangura, one is at Narangura, one is at Madhipatnam. So you can uh, go for online coaching also. You can uh, take admissions if you are living far and if you don't want to uh, attend this offline coaching. Offline coaching. Then we are open for the online also. Now we have habituated to do online coaching also and you are also habituated to learn from online classes. So why should we waste? I mean, why, why should uh, we don't, uh, if it is not provisible, it not provisible, uh, then we can opt for online coaching also. For that also, you can apply the same coupon code that is VAI10. So on daily basis, we'll be having this set of live sessions, which will be uh, uh, there in recorded form also afterwards, which you can see afterwards also, just like YouTube. So this is how on uh, daily basis we are taking assignment. We are giving assignments. We are taking tests also. This is our complete methodology. Direct, I mean, first day we explain the concept, then we give them shortcut methods. We will solve questions, exercise, chapter wise, weekend test, grand test, test analysis is also have been done. On daily basis, we are pushing our kids or we are pushing our students for to reach their targets. So why Spark Academy only? Because we have high experienced faculty. And personal, uh, you can get personalized coaching, process-oriented coaching, personal mentoring, doubt clarification, limited batch size. We help our uh, students in personal mentoring for personal uh, coaching also. And we have limited batch size. And this is what you can um, access, access when you have access to classroom. When you have access to classroom, in hybrid coaching only, you can access to the classroom, not in online coaching. You can't come offline in online coaching. Access to online, yes. If you opt for a hybrid coaching, then you can have access to online coaching also. Books, yes, we are giving books for hybrid one, not for online. Online, they, we will be providing online material. Then grand tests, weekly tests, it is common for all of them and doubts are also cleared. First question for today, excess of inflorescence is known as what? See, I have already explained this to, uh, these terms in detail. Excess of, uh, of an inflorescence is called what? Excess of an inflorescence is known as what? Yes, excess of inflorescence. It is called excess of a complete inflorescence is called peduncle. It is called peduncle, not pedicel. Pedicel is excess of a single flower. Petiole is excess of a leaf. It is, see these three, all of the, all these are dandies only. This is common dandy, common property which I have explained to you. This is private property. 
and this is private for property for leaf. Then pediculated flowers arising arising from a single point forms which type of inflorescence? Pediculated flower arising from a single point forms which type of inflorescence? Umbel, cymos, head, capitulum, verticellister. This is head. In umbel, it is arising from a single point. Then in cymose and fluorescence, the main axis. In cymose, the main axis will terminate to a flower or not? Yes, it will terminate into a flower. Then next, in fluorescence is, is racemose in case of what? In fluorescence is racemose in case of what? Where you can find racemose type of inflorescence? Yes, guys, I am waiting for your answer. At least you can answer this thing. At least you can answer this thing. So, yeah, Ben Brinjal, Soya bean, brinjal, So yes, in Fabaceae family, in Fabaceae family, in fluorescence, correct, your answer is correct. So in Fabaceae family, soya bean, it is having racemose type of inflorescence. And aggregate fruit is one which develops from multi-carpillary syncarpus gynosium, multi-carpillary apocarpus gynosium, complete inflorescence, complete inflorescence, it is called composite fruit. Fruit, aggregate fruit, it is from multi-carpillary syncarpus type of gynosium. Then tricarpillary syncarpus gynosium is found in the flower of tricarpillary syncarpus gynosium is found in the flower of Come on, come on, I'm waiting for your answer. Tricarpillary syncarpus type of uh, gynosium. It is found in which of this? Liliaceae, Solaniaceae, Fabaceae. So, correct option is Liliaceae. You can join us on Telegram also. We have a Telegram channel also. So, you can follow us on te Telegram channel. This is your homework question. So, take a screenshot of it. Venation is a term used to describe the pattern of arrangement of what? Very easy peasy type question. I'll be waiting for your answers also. I'll be waiting for your answers, guys. So quickly take a screenshot. Quickly take a screenshot. And you can give your answers. Second question. Endosperm, a product of the double fertilization in the angiosperm is absent in the seed of what? Where endosperm is absent. Then third question. Many pulses of the daily use belong to the one of the family below. Take a screenshot and answer in the chat comment section. Don't forget to subscribe our channel. Press the bell icon for the notification. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. This is our result of 2021 of uh, MSET 2021 NEED. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everyone.
Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.